Hello, guys first of all thanks we are a 10k family now. Welcome to my channel. Today's videos are about operating systems for PC. Windows 10 and Windows 11 completely dominate the desktop operating system market, so it's easy to forget that there are alternatives available for PC users. Even if you're a gamer, you'd be surprised at how support for gaming on non-Windows systems has grown. Most of them won't cost a penny, and we've listed 10 of the best free alternatives to the Microsoft Windows operating system here. If you're new to my channel then please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tech videos. The number 5 OS is Elementary OS. If you want that Mac OS experience, but don't want a Hackintosh or actual Apple hardware, then Elementary OS is probably your best choice. Of course, this has no part of macOS in it at all. Also, the developers of Elementary OS say that any similarity between Elementary OS on the surface is coincidental. Elementary OS is designed around the principles of immediate usability, a very gentle learning curve, and minimal documentation. Under the hood, Elementary OS is based on Ubuntu, and its Pantheon desktop environment is based on GNOME. However, we'd argue that Elementary is one of the most integrated and coherent Linux distros we've seen. The number 4 OS is Pop OS. Pop OS is a fairly new Ubuntu-based Linux desktop distribution, developed by American computer manufacturer System76. System76 created Pop OS to use on its hardware lineup as a preloaded OS. However, due to its customizations and the built-in driver support, it gained popularity and it is arguably the best Ubuntu-based distribution today. Based upon a custom GNOME desktop environment, POP OS is free software with part of some components that are proprietary like drivers, Wi-Fi, media codecs, etc. It comes with preloaded software such as LibreOffice, Firefox, Yuri, etc. and it has its own POP shop from where you can download curated applications specifically ready for POP. OS The number 3 OS is D-Pin OS. If you are looking for something that doesn't look like an imposter among the popular OS, D-Pin is the freshness you have been looking for. It is one of the best alternatives to Windows 10. D-Pin uses the D-Pin environment, DE, which is elegant and beautiful, very user-friendly, and intuitive. You can choose between having a startup menu like Windows or a dock like macOS. There is a dark theme and light theme available, and the level of transparency can be changed. I love the animation and the style of the different icon sets. D-Pin uses its own set of apps that are getting better and better. The D-Pin App Store is the best one of any Linux distro. The D-Pin Package Manager works perfectly with Deb Files. The video player plays pretty much anything, it's quite fast and light, you can just drag the subtitles and bring them in. I also love the design of the D-Pin Terminal. The number 2 OS is Zorin OS. Zorin OS is another Linux distro, but it's a distro unlike any other. The creators of Zorin have a strong focus on helping both current Mac OS and Windows users transition easily to their system. The clever way they've done this is by including desktop layout templates that look like Windows, Mac OS, or Ubuntu. There are three versions of Zorin OS, but only two are free. Zorin Pro does cost money, but you can use one license to install it on multiple personal computers. The Pro version does come with several value-added features. For example, you can access additional layouts that look like other operating systems, such as Windows 11. Zorin OS Pro also includes free third-party pre-installed software, a password manager, and Miracast functionality. However, you can manually install third-party packages in the free version of Zorin. The number one OS is Manjaro OS. Another in the list of free alternatives to Windows 10 is Manjaro OS. Manjaro OS is a simple yet powerful option for looking for a Windows alternative. Like Ubuntu, Manjaro Linux was created with a strong focus on being a user-friendly replacement for operating systems such as Windows and Linux. The operating system is becoming more popular with users, especially those who aren't fond of Ubuntu's desktop interface. Manjaro offers several officially supported desktop environments. Specifically, it supports XFCE, KDE, and GNOME. 
Manjaro's one-click configuration philosophy is also worth mentioning. Its package and update management system is exceptional, and hardware management and driver installation are similarly straightforward. Thanks for watching folks see you guys in next video till then subscribe to my channel.